Now add a row of four white pieces. And then add grey pieces on the side. Add a yellow piece in the middle. And then two white pieces on the side. And then next to the grey pieces on the side. Add two more grey pieces, one over here and one on top. Then add a row of six white pieces. Then add a row of five and then four. Then add three inverted white pieces. So not like that. But like that. Fill in the rest of the head with grey. Now add two more grey rows. After making two grey rows, find the middle of the face, so that's where the nose is. Take off this middle piece, then insert a black piece for Totoro's nose, and then on top of that add two grey pieces. Then for the ears, take one inverted piece so the bumpy side is facing away from you. Put a normal piece on top of it so the bumpy side is facing you. Put two pieces on top of that, using one pocket, and then on top of that add one more piece. Then count three pieces away from the nose, then in between the third and fourth piece, slot the ear on. And for the arms, take a piece, fold up the bottom just a little bit, reverse the fold, and do the same with this point. Then next to the grey pieces on the side of the stomach, insert the arm. And then for Hello Kitty's whiskers, take a grey piece, then cut a triangle shape inside the triangle. And then cut this bit off. Then on top of the nose, count two white pieces, and then insert the whiskers in here. Then push it in with scissors. So after going on the eyes, the whiskers actually look too close to the eyes, so it's better to insert them over here, which is the outer white piece of the face on the third row. So that would be here. So it doesn't look too close to the eyes. 